Hello, this is Ajint Sridharan and I will be presenting the coursework assignment of week 6 of International Business Course. In this session, I will be discussing a comparison on domestic and international strategy, Walmart's positioning and market strategy entering Mexico. A list of tools and checklist for managers entering international market. Discussing the advantages and disadvantages of joint ventures and some alternatives. And to some of the assessment on Walmart's performance and entry into Mexico. The strategic pillars for entering an international market include understanding the operational scope, the market and the culture, the supply chain management, legal and regulatory risk, marketing and branding, political and economical environment, and after all, the organization's values must correspond to the in initiative. The strategic pillars for market entry differs for domestic and international. The key parameters remain the same, however, the approaches will differ. Here is a short comparison on Walmart's strategic approaches for their domestic and international markets. Walmart focuses its operation as a global organization, but they tend to operate locally. In the following slides, we'll be discussing Walmart's entry into Mexico as a case to consider. The Key factors contributing to the attractiveness of Mexican retail market include its robust economic growth, increasing disposable income, and rising middle class. Mexico's proximity to the United States and its membership in trade agreements with the US, formerly called NAFTA, make, make it an advantageous market for international expansion. Cultural sensitivity and understanding of consumer preferences are paramount in succeeding in this market. Mexican consumers value family-oriented shopping experiences, quality products, and affordable prices. Additionally, there is a growing trend towards e-commerce, creating opportunities for businesses to establish an online presence. Navigating regulatory compliance is crucial as Mexico has specific legal requirements for foreign businesses. This includes consideration of customs, taxation, and compliance with local labor laws. In terms of competition, both local and international retailers operate in Mexico. This diversity offers consumers various options and necessitates strategic differentiation for business looking to thrive in the market. The Mexican retail presents a promising landscape for businesses willing to invest in market research, cultural adaptation, and compliance with local regulations. With the strategic, the right strategy in place, companies can tap into the potential of its vibrant and growing consumer market. Assessing cost, benefits, and risk is critical. Market research must include the study of economic stability, growth trends, and purchasing power of target market. It must consider factors like GDP, inflation rates, and exchange rates. Managers must also analyze the size of the market and its growth prospects. Looking at the data on population, demographics, and consumer behavior. Managers must identify 
existing competition, their market share, strengths and weaknesses. Understand how the company's offerings fit into the existing market. Research on local laws, regulations and policies that may impact the business operations. This include trade regulations, taxation and industry specific regulations. Cultural understanding is critical. Understand the cultural nuances and preferences of the mar target market. Consider aspects like mm. buying habits, product preferences and communication styles. Managers must familiarize themselves with local business customs, negotiation styles and etiquettes. The cost analysis should evaluate the expenses associated with entering the market. This includes cost of market research, legal fees, registration and initial setups. Operating cost including expenses for production, distribution, marketing and hiring local staff must be evaluated. Consider transportation, warehousing and distribution costs. Factor any special requirements for shipping or storing goods. Evaluate the potential impact of currency exchange rate fluctuations on, your, on the business, its operations and profits. While conducting the benefit analysis, assess the revenue potential and sales opportunities in the target market. Factors like market size, growth rate and consumer demand. Evaluate how entering the foreign market contributes, di of contributes to diversifying the revenue streams and reducing dependence on single market. Consider whether entering the foreign market provides access to unique resources, technologies or skills that can benefit the business. Well, on the risk assessment, evaluate the political stability, legal framework and potential regular regulatory changes that may affect the business. Consider factors like inflation rates, economic volatility and exchange rate risk that can impact the financial performance. Identify potential challenges related to cultural differences, consumer behavior and social norms that may affect the business operations. Assess the level of competition and potential threats from existing or new competition in the market. Managers must conduct a scenario analysis considering unprecedented economic downturn policy changes that may impact the business in the foreign market. Managers must also conduct risk analysis and mitigate, prepare mitigation strategies uh, to mitigate the identified risk. This includes diversifying markets securing legal counsel, implementing currency hedging, and building contingency plans. Advantages of joint ventures include the knowledge and expertise, the shared resources, risk sharing in an unfamiliar high-risk market, Established relationship of the partner bringing expertise in local knowledge. Existing infrastructure and distribution network allowing to penetrate the market faster. With established relationships and expertise brings cost efficiency and also political support and regulatory support from the established partner network. In the context of Walmart, its entry into Mexico, Walmart formed a joint venture with Grupo Bimbo in Mexico. This helped Walmart to leverage Grupo's extensive knowledge of Mexican market and, in, and its established infrastructure and networks. 
on the other hand disadvantages are many there could be potential conflicts and disagreements between the partners complexity of governance negotiating a proper structure for operation is critical there low share of profits because the profit will be really split between the partners and limited autonomy and at times competing strategic objectives of the partner and the uh, company some alternatives include forming a wholly owned subsidiary where you have full control of operations licensing and franchising mechanisms where there is greater control however it really comes with significant resource commitment mergers and acquisitions it's nothing but taking over an existing operation and limited contracts this is very rare however some organizations consider short term contracts to enter a market to test it and then make a decision the key factors supporting entry of walmart into mexico include their early market entry walmart was an early entrant in the mexican market which gave walmart a significant first mover advantage and allowed them to establish a long, strong brand presence and customer loyalty over the years walmart is currently the largest retailer in mexico holding a substantial market share they have invested heavily in technology and logistics to ensure a streamlined and responsive supply chain this allows walmart to maintain product availability and reduce cost providing a competitive advantage walmart have tailored their product offerings store formats and marketing strategies to align with mexican taste showcasing cultural sensitivity walmart operates various store formats in mexico including super centers discount stores and warehouse clubs walmart's merchandising strategies including a wide product assortment competitive pricing and frequent promotions contribute to their competitive advantage walmart actively engages with local communities in mexico through initiatives like employment opportunities social responsibility projects and supporting local suppliers this fosters goodwill and strengthens their position in the market while Walmart has a larger competitor Tesco in the market um Tesco has presence in various international markets including Europe and Asia it does not have a dominant position in Mexico as Walmart Walmart's early entry scale supply chain efficiency and strong local adaptation have contributed to its leadership position in the retail sector in mexico acknowledge the references and the contribution of the others